Hey folks, it's Brian. It's time for another Jeep video. Um, so today's video is uh, a little bit fun. We're going to deal with these brake lines. And the way we're going to deal with it is... We're going to drill and tap holes to hold them down. Now, why am I doing this? You know, we're 30 seconds into the video, so let me tell you how it is. Fucking Chrysler wants $13 for each of these stupid little plastic clips that hold the brake lines on. 13 fucking dollars a piece. They're out of their goddamn mind, okay? That's fucking insane. So, where the hell are they? Uh, ah, here they are. So, I bought some little stainless steel line clamps. And then I went to one of my favorite suppliers, Bolt Depot, and I bought some little quarter 20 cap screw, uh, socket cap screws. Now the reason I'm using socket cap screws is Allen Drive is a secure and positive engagement, and in the event that I fuck it up and I strip it out, I've still got the outer head to get the damn thing out of there. So this shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, let me drop that where I'll promptly forget that I put it, and I can cuss about that later too. Um, anyway, let me reposition the camera. I gotta find a 1364th drill bit, and I need to cover the fish hook that's on the edge of this because it's already snagged my shorts once. Yeah, and it'll do it again if I don't keep it covered. Uh, really, I need to break the welder out and weld that piece of shit, but that's not today's fucking project either. Oh, by the way, I cuss a little in this video, so if you don't like that, just scroll on down your feed. Otherwise, this is a garage, and we do, you know, guy things in the garage working on... I mean, I suppose a girl could work on a Jeep, too. You know. Actually, it might even be better at it, because they're usually pretty patient. Anyway, so, uh, let me find a 1364th drill bit and get set up for this, and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so it calls for 1364s, and the best I can do is 3 sixteenths, which is 6 30 seconds or 12 64th. So we're 1 64th of an inch off. I don't think it's going to change the price of tea in China. I just don't. So anyway, I have a quality Milwaukee drill bit chucked up in my uh, very raggedy ass DeWalt drill. And let's see, no, we're not. So we're going to put it in the same spot and let's just see how this goes. So it's important when you are tapping to not um, don't use a lot of pressure because that heats up the, the metal on the drill bit and that's what ruins drill bits. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. So let's see if we can make it a 64th of an inch larger. Nah, it's not catching. Let me get my uh, drill bits. We're gonna change sizes. So, um, 
we'll go to 7 30 seconds, which is 14 64ths. So it's a little bit oversized. That should make weaker threads. And this is why it's called a chip brush, by the way, in case you never knew why that was called that. And this is called a cheap ass um, tap. And it just does not want to catch. Uh, it's quarter 20. What do you know? The, th the holes that are here are the right size. Mm, screw it, I'm going to tap this hole then. Well, they're not quite the right size. Truly shitty tap wrench. All right, let's just see how this looks. I think that's too short, but we're going to try the three eighths fasteners. think that's a, a secure, um, I really just don't think that's secure. So let me find a wrench for this. Should be a 3 16th. I really want to drive these by hand, so I'm going to try and locate um, the right Allen wrench. There it is. Okay, so we found a wrench that fits properly. And it's 316s. Hey, what do you know? Ah, uh, and I found something exciting. I found some cheap ass Harbor Freight drill bits. And there ought to be, I mean, you know, 
there ought to be a 1364 in here. I ought to throw it away because I actually don't think they're that good. Let's see. Thirteen sixty four is right there. Let's see if that actually works. I don't have a lot of faith in it. I think these are junk drill bits. Um, or as I refer to them, one time use drill bits. here is uh, I'm gonna go see if I can find a different shot. I'll throw it back. Okay in the spirit of things you can watch but you probably shouldn't do I'm going to chuck a tap. This is usually a fantastic way to break a tap. of this drill it's a fantastic way to um, have problems because this drill has issues drill on the other hand does not have gear issues um, the other drills just been around for a long time So I clearly have a mounting problem. Let me see if I can fix it. And these are cheap taps and I really just don't like them for what you're seeing them do. On the bright side, this tap has been started.
just shouldn't be this difficult. But we're almost through. It's important to work your tap back and forth. All right, so this one's tapped. Nobody said this was gonna be easy. So let's remove this piece of shit and its companion too. So these are stainless steel. I think that will sidestep any corrosion issues and um, it'll secure the lines. Uh, the edges are a little sharp. Um, somebody on Amazon bitched about that in the review. Uh, you know, it's going on a vehicle. It's not the end of the world. Okay. Yeah, I think there's going to be enough purchase there. It's a little on the cozy side in terms of screw engagement, but, you know, it's okay. And I'm going to add some Loctite or thread lock to it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's plenty of thread engagement. So let me make sure my... Brake line is where I want it. That's where I want it. So that's. This is why I like socket cap screws is I can get a good hard fastening without having to worry about it. I know that's secure at this point. So now what we're going to do is we're going to glue over. We're going to work on this area here. So we'll start with a 1364th drill bit. <laughs> Remember what I said? I thought these were pieces of shit. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't off. I'm gonna chuck the whole goddamn kit. I mean it you saw it just walk. It didn't even dig in. So that's our first one, or our, that's the first step. Now what we're gonna do is unlock the tap. Because if we had a bunch of these, we wouldn't have to do this, but that's just not how this works. I've just, actually, I'm kind of lucky to have one. Oh, 
course it will. I really prefer spiral flute, but again, this is just what I have on hand. So this hole is now tapped. And this piece of tube here is probably, oh, uh, well, I don't know. The rest of the frame is pretty thick. So, uh, you know, you're pushing, you're, you're cutting the, the grooves and you're pushing the pieces out into here. And that's, that's part of what's providing all the resistance. So we'll get that lined up. And then we'll add some thread lock to it. Um, because these are hand tapped, um, there's a good chance that, and I'm not, I'm not setting torque on these, I'm just putting them in. So there's a real possibility that they would vibrate loose um, as I'm going down the road. Jeeps are kind of rough to begin with. Houston has, what I can only affectionately describe as shitty roads. There we go. We'll switch over for a little better torque. That looks really nice and you can see it has a little bit of movement so I'm going to go ahead and preemptively replace the one over here. Um, I'm going to just add one in this neighborhood. So and again, that is uh, called chip brush, and the reason it's called a chip brush is that. Let's see if we can actually get this to start. All right, so we can hand tap this one from the get go. I'm going to spray a little WD-40 on the actual tap itself. Friction is the enemy of tapping and this is a thicker tap than the other one. So this isn't so bad now that I've 
kind of got this down. And these aren't perfect threads because again, I'm using, I'm a 64th of an inch large on my hole. So if I was doing something structural, this might be a problem. But this isn't structural, these are hold downs for a brake line. Now, uh, I will post a link in the video to these little stainless steel clamps. I got these on Amazon. Um, if you buy them using the link, I'll earn a tiny, tiny ass commission. You pay the same price, um, but it's just something I do to help support my habit. Hobbies. Sorry, I shouldn't call them habits. Habits are for drugs. Hobbies are for everybody else. Although, if you ask my friends, they'd probably tell you I have a tool addiction. God, I hope there's nothing in the way where I'm actually installing this. It's going to suck if I have to move this because of the track bar, but I, I really don't think so. I mean, this, this side in particular is about where it was previously. And I'm just snugging that down, so I'm going to undo the side that likes to bite me fish hook here. Who knows, maybe I'll deal with that today. Alright, so where did that go? So I don't like this rattling around, so I'm going to put one right here. So you see me kind of rocking the wrench where I stop, I back up a little bit, and then I continue. That so I'm going to put one right here. Trying to avoid just brushing it onto the floor. But it does kind of look like that's what's going to happen. And again, 
just you want to back your tap out a little bit as you proceed so you don't build up too much force Okay. I do think that putting a little bit of WD-40 on the uh, tap threads is helping, but a little bit is the key word. Um, that was dry. The last two had some residual. And, um, you know, the hard part about ordering from Bolt Depot is the shipping. Um, it's kind of expensive, but in this particular case, the uh, bolts were like 20 cents a piece. <clears throat> well, I think I'm going to start doing that because that was quick and easy and it didn't do any damage. So... bend this back in where I want it. So I need one right in here and that's going to be a little more challenging to work on. And I think I want a second one down there. Okay, so let me uh, do a quick check of how many of these I've got left. So I have three, four, okay, I've got plenty of these little clamps. Perfect. And I've got four bolts, so I've got a match. That's awesome. Alright, and at this point I'm just irritated with it, so yeah. Yeah, the WD-40 definitely helps. So um, on the next one, I'll show you what exactly what I'm doing. Now, it's worth noting, WD-40 is not really a lubricant as much as it is uh, an anti. It's, it's something to get rid of water. Okay, so throw that away. Fucking noxious. Those are thirteen dollars. Like a quarter of a cent of fucking plastic. 
Alright, so that's in about the right spot. Now the only downside is I ordered, I ordered like five sizes of these, um, not knowing which bolt length I needed. So I ordered, you know, three eighths, which is what I turned out to use with half inch. It's five eighths, three quarters. All right, so a couple things. First, here's what I'm doing with the WD-40. So. I'm just coming down here and one little squirt and then I'm shaking off the excess. So that's all it takes on that. Now, Jeep did not originally have anything here, but you know what that is? That's a goddamn rattle. All you gotta do is add a road. So I'm gonna get rid of that rattle. Difficult. This would be the right spot, but this bracket's in the way, and I don't. Do I feel like taking that loose? Not really. How many bolts is it? Two. I probably should. Let me get a wrench. Damn it, we're gonna do it right. So I think that's a 15 millimeter uh, wrench. I'm just kind of eyeballing it, but I think it's 15. Yep. Yep. Let me track down 15 millimeter wrench. I'll be right back. All right, so I've got this on my long uh, three eighths impact. I ain't gonna do it. Where is that? All right, so let me switch to a half inch wrench, uh, ratchet. hand tools are kind of nice. <clears throat> All right, let's see if the impact driver can get it now.
Next, we're going to tap this hole. And again, you want to just back off a little bit before you take another bite. So we have tapped that successfully. Now there's a mistake you could make here, <coughs> which might make reassembly very difficult. And the mistake would be to fasten this, potentially blocking that. But while we have this all apart, it's time for some rattle can remodel. Anybody gets after me about, oh, I wouldn't do that to my Jeep. I don't give a shit. This is a junkyard Jeep. Okay, quite literally. And it's a rebuild. It's going to be prettier than it was when it came in. And I'm going to beat the shit out of it when I get it out in the trails. So it don't fucking matter. Oh, now I need gloves. Cause dumbass just painted the fucking frame right where he's got to work. Fire the fucking mechanic that works on this thing. Oh wait, that's me. A little self-deprecating humor there. the 3 8 impact to drive this back in where we want it. And then we're going to use the 
half inch to actually snug it by hand. up on sale at Harbor Freight the other day. About 200% of what I used to pay for them before COVID and about half of what they would usually try to get you for if you didn't plan for their sales. So we're going to put a little dab of Loctite or thread lock in here. Sorry, I keep calling it Loctite and that's not what it is. Loctite is a brand. It's, it's probably made in China too. Everything else is. This one is going to be a lot tricky. Little bit difficult to start and definitely something you need a uh, 90 degree angle wrench finally snug down. This is definitely an early morning one because it's frustrating and I need to do it before I'm irritated at other things for the day. 
All right, there we go. So now this can't rattle. I have an allergy to rattles. So I've got another one over here that is popped loose. So we're going to go ahead and just get rid of it. And I suspect that this is, you know what I mean, $13 for that. Really? Are you fucking kidding? That's crazy. We have tapped that hole.
Yeah, that one's busted too, so we're going to go ahead and replace that while we're at it. And then that will be, there will only be one of these left. All right, let's see how that's, I don't know what it was secured to, but it's going to get secured there. That's going to be kind of tough to drill, so let's think about this for a second. The ideal spot's there, but this is in my way. Yeah, well, I think we can just bring this over a little bit. tools off camera just so you guys are like where the hell did he go yeah I'm just that's the last hole that needs to be drilled thread lock in here there we go no more rattles at least not from that all right, so I think that's that wraps this particular project. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Uh, total cost is about 20 bucks. Well, not even that. I mean, uh, the brackets were about nine dollars, and the um, so the brackets were about nine bucks, and the uh, bolts were about two dollars. But then there was shipping or screws. Um, but but in any event. Um, yeah, no, this is this has turned out nice. I'm happy with it, uh, and it's another another step towards getting the Jeep back on the road, running around flinging mud. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, tell me what you think in the comments. Um, I like all the comments, but if you attack me personally, well, you know, there's an old saying: don't mess with the asshole with the microphone. So anyway, thanks for watching. Freeze the chips or the pieces that are being cut out. 
those pieces provide friction and that's what will break your taps is friction bending and too much force smaller the tap the more likely that is to happen little taps love to break in places where you can't get them back out so first one was a little rough but we seem to be cruising along at this point and that's good Now, when you're buying these, you need to be careful because they also come in. Um, they also come in aluminum. I, I don't think you should put aluminum clamps on a steel frame with steel bolts. I think that's a recipe for disaster. Aluminum bolts into a steel frame is a recipe for disaster. will experience something called galvanic corrosion. I'm not convinced this is not cross-threading itself, but again, it's not I actually think I am probably cross-threading it, but... That's better, and then the next one's going to go right in here. Looks like it used to be here, so we'll put it right there. If you were to brush this with your hands, you would get little splinters, but you can use a chip brush to sweep this stuff into your hand and then go dump it in the trash can and sweep it off your hand. Okay. 
So we're dealing with two things here. Um, one is the steam, the clamp is not pushed in, and then we're trying to line the hole up at the same time. That looks better. Uh, you know what? I'm. This is irritating me, so I'm gonna switch and do what I was gonna do. I was going to do this earlier where I put a bit in this, but I was like, no, no, that's, that's really cheating. But as you can see, it's not. I'm just not um, impacting it down because it'll it these threads aren't the best, and I don't want to destroy them with the, with the uh, drill or the impact driver. All right, so now I've got a nice, sturdy thing. got one back there that's broken so 